Today is all about the sides. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Tamara. Today we are gonna be focusing on the side dishes. I feel like sometimes we forget about it. Sometimes it's just easier to go with our normal side dish. I have got some delicious recipes to share with you guys today that are gonna be perfect with whatever protein or supper that you are serving for your family that night. These recipes are super quick and easy and you don't wanna miss it. Let's go ahead and get cooking, y'all. These roasted Parmesan green beans became a family favorite super quick. Y'all, these are so easy and delicious. I've just got a pack of fresh green beans there. I'm just going through, picking off any ends, any stems, any bad pieces, and then we will just give those a rinse and then we'll get those put in a bowl. Now we're just gonna give them a coating of olive oil. We're gonna add seasonings, garlic powder, salt and pepper, just season with your heart. And then to give that crunch, we're gonna do some panko breadcrumbs. And then we're also gonna add on some Parmesan cheese. I will have this recipe linked down below for you guys. This one was so easy. You just dump everything, toss the green beans in the seasonings and the cheese and the breadcrumbs, put it on a cookie sheet. You bake this at 400 until they're you know nice and toasty, roasted to your liking. I'm telling y'all, these were so, so good. Like so basic, so easy, but a really good switch up to a healthier side dish. Here's what they look like right out of the oven. Y'all, I'm telling you, these were so, so good. Now this night with the green beans, I also served mashed potatoes because I did uh, chicken marsala. I have already shared that, so I'll have that video linked down below. But if you're not new here, you know crock pot mashed potatoes are my go-to. They are my, they're my love. <laughs> they're so easy. So I've just got my potatoes there. I have just peeled, washed, and cut those up, added those into my crock pot, covered those with water, and then I add in chicken bouillon powder. If you don't keep the powder on hand, just use chicken broth. I will have my recipe linked down below as well. And then just season with your heart, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika. Mix that together, put the lid on it, and then you're gonna let these cook on high for about four hours. Once they are done, I'm just gonna go ahead and drain them. And then to the crock pot, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my dairy of choice. I normally do either regular milk or evaporated milk. Add in a couple tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna put the lid on that and let it sit for a couple minutes. Let the butter start melting, let that dairy come up to temperature and that's gonna help you get super creamy mashed potatoes. You don't wanna add in cold dairy or even non-dairy to your potatoes because it's gonna shock it where they're so warm. So if you let that milk come up to temperature and it's gonna make super creamy mashed potatoes. I just give them a taste test, add more seasonings if need be. And then I like to add a couple tablespoons of butter on top. I just put the lid on it, keep it on warm. They will stay nice and warm. They're so good. <laughs> if you've never tried making mashed potatoes in the crock pot, I'm telling you, you are missing out. I found a new corn recipe. This honey butter corn was absolutely delicious. It is so easy as well. I've got a couple tablespoons of butter there melted in my pan. I'm gonna add in one bag of frozen corn. Next time I do this, I will definitely double this recipe because we ate it all and didn't have any leftovers and it was so good. I'm gonna add in some salt, some pepper. I'm also gonna add in a little bit drizzle of honey and then some cream cheese and you just stir everything together, let that cream cheese melt and everything heat through and woo, it is a good one. I have been obsessed with roasted veggies nowadays and this roasted cauliflower is so, so good. Of course, with any roasted veggies, you can add whatever vegetables you want. You can do cauliflower, broccoli, you can do asparagus, you can do green beans, potatoes, carrots, literally change it up, use what veggies your family likes. This night I just wanted to roast up some cauliflower. I keep it basic when I do my roasted veggies. I do a drizzle of olive oil and then I season it up with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, some paprika, and then I like to do balsamic vinegar on mine. I add it all in there, give everything a toss. We're gonna put it on a sheet pan and just let that roast up in a 400 degree oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. Here's what they look like. They are so good, so flavorful. 
perfect side dish to pair with any dinner. If you have never tried the stick of butter rice, it is so, so good, you guys. You definitely have to give it a try. I will have the recipe linked down below. We have been making this for a while now, and it is the perfect side dish. So in an oven safe pan, I've got an eight by eight casserole dish there. I'm gonna add in my rice. I'm gonna add in a can of French onion soup, a can of beef consomme. I'm gonna add in a few dashes of W sauce. And then I forgot to stir it up this time, so y'all aren't gonna see me stir it until after, but stir it and then add on your pads of butter. It calls for a whole stick, but I've been just doing nine like little tabs of butter and I can't tell the difference to be honest. And then you just wrap it with foil, put it in the oven at 375, I believe. Check the recipe, I may be wrong. And then you just put it in there for 45 to 50 minutes. Leave it alone, don't uncover it, and it is done. It is fluffy and it is so flavorful. Creamy baked Brussels sprouts. Y'all, this one was so good. I have been buying fresh Brussels sprouts and I have been wanting to find new recipes to fix with them. I have just been roasting them, but this was really good and we'll definitely make this again. And this one's actually considered low carb and kind of keto, maybe lazy keto. I don't keep up with that stuff. Y'all know that, but I will have the recipe linked down below. So I have just washed and cut up my Brussels sprouts. I'm giving them a season with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. And I'm also going to add in some Italian seasoning. This is another one of these recipes that it is just a dump and go in a bowl, put it in a casserole dish, and you are done. I'm also going to add in some minced garlic. We're going to add in some heavy cream and some Parmesan cheese and some mozzarella cheese. Mix it together. We're going to put it in an 8x8 casserole dish. Put it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. Now in the recipe, it says you can add cheese on top of the casserole dish and make it like super cheesy and bubbly, but I actually left it as is and it got kind of roasty and toasty on top. So the Brussels sprouts had a little bit of a crunch and it was so good. I will definitely make it that way again. I won't add the cheese on top because I liked the creaminess at the bottom and then that little texture at the top. It really did good for the Brussels sprouts. Most of the time, we serve the same sides over and over again. Today's video showed you right here how quick and easy it is to serve delicious side dishes with whatever meal you're serving for your family that night. These recipes in today's video were absolutely delicious. Don't forget, I will have any recipes linked down in the description box. I hope today's video gave you guys some new meal inspiration, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.